Good afternoon, hello, good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to my video on how to set a goal, a step-by-step -step guide. So, without further ado, what is a goal? A goal is anything that you want, that you really, really want. So it could be something that you want to have, something that you want to do, someone where you want to go, um, something, someone who you want to be. It's your destination. So think of it like the destination that you put into your sat-nav. Um, a sat-nav only works if you give it a destination to go to. So you decide on your destination and then you click start. And when you get going, the sat-nav will give you the directions along the route and it'll only give you one at a time. And you as a human have exactly the same capability within your subconscious mind. You give your subconscious mind a direction, a goal, a destination. It will give you step-by-step -step directions on how to get there. So what are the benefits of setting a goal? It gives your life purpose. So it gives you meaningful things to do every single day. Um, it motivates you. If you've got a goal and it's a worthy goal that you are striving towards, you will be surprised how much more energy you've got. I can do this all day because I have big goals and I just want to get this information out there so that I can help other people. Okay, It gives you something to work towards. It gives you a purpose. It gives you the motivation, like I've said, to get to where you want to go because you're being driven by something. But goals can go a little bit wrong. You must make sure, and that's the purpose of this video, that you set a worthy goal. If you set a goal that you already know how to achieve, something you've done before and you fancy doing it again, something that you know how to do or that you think you can do, it's not a worthy goal. And yes, you will achieve the goal. And yes, you will get what it is that you want. But after a while, if you just keep setting these low level goals, you're not going to get the sense of satisfaction that you would get if it's a huge goal that you've had to work for. A goal, the idea of a goal or the purpose of a goal is to stretch you. If you're not being stretched, then you're not growing. OK, you need to be stretching yourself. The whole point is to stretch yourself and to grow. We are here to grow. We're not here to survive. We've got too many higher faculties up here, too much infinite potential to just survive. And if you are surviving right now because of your circumstances and your environment, I feel you really, really do. I have been there. But don't focus on where you are now. Focus on where you want to go. So set a goal that is where you want to go. It's your destination in your sat nav. This was all very, very nicely covered in a very, very good book. Uh, just let me grab it. It is called Psycho Cybernetics. It was written in the 60s by Dr. Maxwell Maltz. He was a plastic surgeon. And he discovered that it's, in some cases, he could repair someone's really severe disfigurement in their face, but it wouldn't change the person the person still thought of themselves as having that huge disfigurement. And he realised that the human mind is actually more powerful than your physical appearance. So he also did some research, further research, and he found that you could turn an old or a young person old by telling them that there was no point to their life. So you could tell someone somewhere, and he, he, he didn't obviously tell someone this and go through this, but he had a, um, a patient once who came to him who was only in their 30s, if that, maybe in their 20s, and they came across as if they were in their 50s or 60s. They just looked so old. And they were still living at home with their parents, and their parent had basically told them that there was no point and they should just sit in the chair all day long due to some medical thing. I think that they had some form of disfigurement where they were picked on quite a lot. So the parents and the world around this young person basically make them feel that there was no point to living. So they didn't. They just sat in a chair 
all day and just let the time go by. And what he noticed was that he was able to give that young person a, um, a purpose by changing the fig disfigurement of that person. That person suddenly became young again. They had a purpose. They had goals. They had things they wanted to go and do. And you probably know from your own lives, people who are in their 30s or 20s or 40s, maybe, who act like old people, like in their 80s or 90s, that they've got um, body aches, they've just got no, they've got no get up and go, no oomph, no lust for life. And then on the plus side, you probably know people in their 60s or 70s who you would have sworn were only in their 30s. Because they have a purpose, they have a goal, they're always striving to be something. And Maxwell Maltz decided to spread this word through this book, through psycho-cybernetics, psycho by saying that humans are goal-striving creatures. And we are. If we're not striving for a goal, we die. And it was proven years and years and years ago when men used to retire from their work. They'd be like full of life and everything else and then they'd retire and the idea was is that you were supposed to then just sit or lie down to preserve your body so you didn't get too many aches and pains. And so many men died within a couple of years of retiring because they had no purpose anymore. They had nothing to live for. They didn't have their work. The family's all taken care of by the wife. They had nothing. So the body just gave up. The mind and the body was just like, hmm, well, if you're not using me, then off we go. Okay, so how do you get started with setting a goal? You must first understand that you are going to need to make some changes. If you have a big goal and you set a big goal, if you already had everything that you needed right now or were already doing everything you needed to get that goal right now, you'd already be there. So you're going to have to start making some changes. The person you are now is not going to achieve the goal that you want for your future self. You are going to have to make changes. And you are going to get started with that by, um, once you have your goal, you will need to change some of your habits. So a great book. I'm an avid reader. Atomic Habits by James Clear. Absolutely brilliant book for changing habits. Okay? You can't just stop an old habit or a bad habit, you have to replace it with a new one. Um, and I do go into atomic habits and habit changing and some other methods and things that will help you to create the new habits that you need to create the life that you want in my planituding approach, which on YouTube is in one of my featured um, playlists, or it's on my website, or on any of my social media, you will find it. And I'm just gonna switch off my phone onto do not disturb. Sorry for the noise. Okay, so next little bit. How do I set a worthy goal? Not just a goal, a worthy goal. So it has to be worthy of you. And you cannot compare your goal to somebody else's. Your goal is your goal and it's big for you, no one else. Okay, so step one, you need to make a list. It's a list of everything that you really, really want. So the idea is you get into a nice, quiet space, get comfortable, get calm, and then start daydreaming. Use your imagination to work out what would you most like to have, or who would you most like to be, or where would you most like to be, what kind of job, what kind of house, what kind of clothes, what personality, anything at all. Material items, anything. But make sure while you're just writing that list that you do not even consider how you can or can't have something. Do not try and work out how you can get it or dismiss something. Oh, I could never do that. That could never be me. No, if you want it, you can get it 100%. Okay, so at this point, you just have to make a list. Write down it, everything that you want. Step two. You then need to choose one of them to focus on because in the Atomic Habits book and as is widely um, spread across various um, motivation and habit type things, especially within like Proctor Gallagher Institute um, or Tony Robbins or any of the big speakers, you can only work on one or two habits or one or two goals at a time. So you need to prioritise your list that you've just written. You need to 
grade them, basically rank them from one to 10 or give them each a score of one to 10, where 10 is you would literally give your life for that thing. And then the one that comes out on top of all the others, that is your focus. But remember when you're doing this, it's not about fulfilling that goal or achieving it or getting a quick win or anything like that. It's about the person that the journey will make you in the process. Okay. Step three, you need to decide on your why. Why is it that you want that thing? What's it going to do for you? What's it going to give you? How's it going to change your life? Why do you want it? And write that down next to the goal. You need to have a why. That's your motivation. Step four, you need to write it on a goal card. So for example, I have a goal card here. It's a bit scribbled on and I'm not going to hold it still too long. Okay, you write your goal on a goal card and you write it in the present tense. So I am so happy and grateful now that I am earning X number of thousand dollars per month or pounds per month or whatever, anything like that. So you write it in the present tense as if you have already achieved it. And what do you do next? Step five is read the goal card every single day. Keep it in your pocket. Read it as often as you can. Feel, really feel how that future self of you is going to feel when that goal is achieved. That helps you to internalize the goal. That really cements the destination into your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind will then give you ideas every day on how to get to it. And one a piece of advice from Bob Proctor, from my mentor Bob, was that every single evening you need to sit before you go to bed or lie down with just as you're falling asleep and you think, what is one thing that I could do tomorrow to move toward the achievement of my goal? And you fall asleep with that thought. Now you might have something come up instantly, in which case write it down, but if not, don't worry. Fall asleep thinking that question, what is one thing I could do tomorrow to move toward the achievement of my goal? And while you sleep, your subconscious will come up with some ideas. So always make sure you've got a pen and paper or a, your phone with a voice recording on handy at any point. Okay, so that's your five steps. I want to know what your goal is. Can you please, once you have decided on your goal, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear your goal. And also your goal might inspire somebody else. They might go, oh, actually, that is a good goal. And then rethink what it is that they want. They might be struggling to work out what it is that they want. They might be one of those frustrating people that when you ask them, well, what do you want for Christmas? They go, oh, nothing. It's not that you don't want nothing. It's that you don't think the person can give you it or you're embarrassed to ask for what it is that you really, really want. I'm guilty of that. Nothing. No, I don't want anything. Well, I do, but I'm embarrassed to ask for it. Or I don't think you can give me it. So I don't answer. It's what is humans. The same as you won't tell someone a problem who you don't think can solve it for you. Okay, so comment below what is your goal. And if you do want more on this, I am running a live free seminar for five days next week. It will be at eight o'clock London time. Um, the link is in the description or in the comments below. It's called the Shifting Perspective Initiative Mindset Habits Motivation Workshop. It will run for about 45 minutes each day on Zoom. It'll be fully interactive. Lots of activities for you to get on with and get involved in. There will be homework because this stuff only works if you apply it and you only apply it when you're actually thinking about it properly. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. If you do want more information, like I said, drop me a comment, get in touch on any of my social media platforms. Um, yeah, reach out to me. I also have a Calendly link, which I will drop into the comments as well. Um, and yeah, I hope this finds you well. I hope it has helped you and I hope to be seeing your comments with your goals very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day. And don't forget to subscribe to my channels. <laughs> have a great evening, day, morning, night, wherever you are.